Hi guys, it's The Wodinski here, and today we have got uh, just a quick video, and uh, this is a off-schedule video, because I'm going to be doing a few of those where I just decide to upload a video, and this is basically how to improve your aim slash quickscoping ability within Call of Duty Ghosts multiplayer. Now, uh, don't get excited, this gameplay on your screen now is from a private match, and I'm going to explain one of the ways in which you can improve your quickscoping ability because quickscoping is a bit different in Ghosts. So basically, this only works for next gen and PC by the way, but it does work for PS3 and Xbox 360, but it's slightly different. So basically what you want to do is go into a private match, put it on Strike Zone or whatever map you really want, it doesn't really matter, and put the enemy bots on the maximum amount and put them on Recruit. I know this is an obvious way of doing it, but I found this way really helps and it's actually helped me become as good as quickscoping as I am, and I'm not that good <laughs> on uh, Ghosts today. So, basically, yeah, that's it. You just need to put the enemy bots up to 17 on the PS4 or Xbox One or PC, and you put the friendly bots on zero and just set the time limit or score limit to whatever you want, and then basically just go ham. Just pick a sniper or whatever, whatever one you want. It doesn't really matter. I'm using the whatever it's called. I can't even remember what it's called. The Lynx. That's it. There you go. Is it the Lynx? I think it's the Lynx. I'm pretty sure it's the Lynx. I'll look it up in a sec. But yeah, I'm using the Lynx. Yeah, using the Lynx. And uh, because I like this sniper a lot and you never really get hit markers. Unfortunately, I did get quite a few hit markers, which was uh, I was a bit annoyed about because I don't usually like hit markers. Who does? But uh, I did. this is the best feed I did. I just got a seven-man feed there. And it's actually a really fun way of uh, actually doing it because you can improve your ability and your aim and have fun at the same time and it doesn't take very long like after doing a few of these you'll be as good at quickscoping whatever you want to use a variety of different snipers though otherwise if you just use the same one you'll only be good with one because they're all very different I, I've, I find that the thermal scope makes it a lot easier to quickscope with so if you want to stick that on the top I would recommend it so yeah! So this gameplay, as I said, is from a private match. I just literally went into the first one I could do and uh, the, first, the first try and that's what I got. I got a hit marker there, unfortunately. I got collateral there. And then I come around here and get killed from behind. Spoiler! Uh, <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys are going to find this uh, little tip uh, useful on how to improve your quickscoping ability. On Call of Duty Ghosts, because it is a lot different to quickscoping on Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 2 and stuff. Well, they're always different, to be honest. So, uh, as, as I said, obviously, set the bot, uh, the er enemy bots to the maximum amount you can, and the friendly bots, you don't need to touch those, just set the enemy bots to recruit. Uh, you do, you will miss a few that you expect to hit, but that's expected because not every single bullet is bang on target for some reason. But, uh,. Yeah, so my name has been The Wudinski. If you've enjoyed this video, you can leave a like or maybe even subscribe if you want to see some more videos from me. I'll be doing some, I've got some interesting Call of Duty Ghost videos and stuff coming out soon. So uh, I hope you guys can stick around for those. Uh, I've got some, uh, loads of other series on the go. If you're interested in those, you can check out my channel. And um, if you found this tutorial useful, you can leave a like. And uh, I hope you guys will subscribe and I can see you soon. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching.